Hello my dear exceptional students. In this video our topic is classification of entity types. Entity types can be classified into regular entities or weak entities. Regular entities are also called strong or independent entities whereas weak entities are also called dependent entities. A weak entity it depends on any other entity type and have no meaning in the diagram without depending on another entity for example course and teacher are two entities course cannot be considered without a teacher so the teacher is a strong entity because a course is depending on the teacher why we make relationship between weak entity and strong entity? Because if we want to insert new course and teacher is not available for this course, so this is impossible without having any teacher to insert any course. Entity cannot exist without being linked to an instance of teacher. This type of entity is called as weak entity or dependent entity strong entity an entity type whose instances can exist independently that is without being linked to the instances of any other entity type is called strong or regular entity a major property of the strong entity type is that they have their own identification which is not always the case with weak entity types. What is different between weak entity and strong entity types? Please note down. The first main point is the strong entity has a primary key. The weak entity has a reference key or foreign key. The strong entity is independent of any other entity in ER model. Weak entity depends on the strong entity for its existence. Strong entity is denoted by a single rectangle and weak entity is denoted by double rectangle. The relation between two strong entities is denoted by a single diamond simply called relationship while in case of uh, a weak entity the relationship between a weak and a strong entity is denoted by identifying relationship denoted by with double diamond naming entity types following are some recommendations for naming entity types singular non recommended like teacher employee organization specific names like customer client write in capital abbreviations can be used be consistent avoid using confusing abbreviations following these recommendations are very important so uh, dear students please follow these recommendations in next lecture our topic is attribute symbols for entity types a rectangle is used to represent an entity type in ER data model for strong entity type rectangle with a single line is used whereas double lined rectangle is drawn to represent a weak entity type as is shown in below. Please rate our videos and subscribe to our channel.